No, over there, Zeus. He's six foot eight. He is a world record holder. He is Zeus McClurkin with not the Philadelphia 76ers. <laughs> the Harlem Globetrotters. World famous. What you you hold two well, you hold a bunch of records. You just recently set one back in November, right? Yes, I am a two-time world record holder. I have the most bounce three-pointers in one minute, and I have the most slam dunks in one minute, which was 15. That's awesome. And, and, and kids, if you're watching out there, first of all, we're going to tell you have to go see Zeus and the, and the crew uh, coming up on the 21st. But this man, 7th grade, 8th grade, ninth grade, they said, we're cutting you from the team. You're not going to make it. We're bringing up the past. That's what we're doing. No, but you see, <laughs> the past leads to the future. Yes, sir. I didn't because make my first you wouldn't team. take no for an answer. Every time they cut me, I, I let it be my motivation to try out again and again and again. And uh, finally, on the heels of a, a five-inch growth spurt in 10th grade, I drank a lot of milk that summer. I uh, finally made my first basketball team. And a lot of my coaches and teammates all said the same thing. They said I was too nice. And they said in order to be good in basketball, you got to have a killer instinct, which I never developed. I'm like you, Bruce. I just smile all the time, and I enjoyed myself. And uh, my coaches hated that. But eventually, uh, the Globetrotters now pay me to smile and dunk and be myself. So it Nobody here is going to tell you I'm too nice. <laughs> No, that ain't going to happen. So, so wait a minute. You know, th this man, he, he's played a number of sports, but I'm going to ask him about his, his true Olympic dream because it doesn't involve basketball. No, I wish I was a volleyball player. That's my first love. Volleyball is my favorite sport of all time. Yep, yeah. even today, it's, it's the only sport I've ever been completely dominated at. I'm pretty good at basketball, too, though. I, I would imagine <laughs> to be with the Globetrotters. So, um, you know, uh, you guys have come here in the past, mm -hmm. and we always have you teach somebody how to spin the ball. So I've got two beautiful ladies here. Yes. Um, Crystal Moyer, who does our traffic. And you know, have you ever, ever heard any of the music from Beauty and the Beast? I have. From the movie. Do you know, wait, wait a second. Belle, come over here. We brought Belle. If, if you could play Gaston or The Baker or anybody, what song would you sing to Belle? Um, I would say, tell us all the time. Aww. Something, something, something. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's funny because I was just singing Beauty on the Beast this morning. It's crazy. And he walks in, he goes, oh my gosh, Bella's here. Who, who the, this is fate. So, ha have you ever spun a ball on your finger? I have not, no. I, I think you may have to be take... taller. It's crazy. Oh, Can you well, hold your finger in the air like this? Beautiful. Do we have to take the glove oh, off? Oh, you have gloves. I do. We'll see. Just mix it with classy with the glove. Oh my gosh. Yeah, princess. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> that was awesome. Nice job, Belle. You know, you. I feel like I'm yeah. starstruck. And, and, and if you want to, you know, really get the guest on, boom, in the face with a basketball. That'll put him in his place. So, Ms. Moyer, uh, you, they put it on your shoe last year, didn't they? They did. Let's do your finger this year. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, same thing. You're right-handed? I am right-handed. All right, the secret to it is to look away. So look at the camera. Act natural. Act natural. There you go. And now you're a globetrotter. See that? Do, 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 do. Hey, oh, oh George Brown. <laughs> yeah, basketball would never be my thing, but uh. That's okay. That's okay. What's when you get out there? What's your favorite thing? My favorite thing is seeing the kids' faces. Not just the kids, but the adults. I know. Uh, you'll see somebody 20 years old, somebody in their 70s, and everybody has the biggest smile on their face, enjoying themselves. And uh, everywhere that I go, when somebody sees the red, white, and blue, it takes them back to that happier time when they went to a game with their parents or with their grandparents. And right. they give me some cool story about you know when they saw a metal arc lemon, or uh, if they oh, yeah. know somebody Goose? related to yeah, yeah, <laughs> Abe Saperstein or yeah. something like that. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, that's the coolest part about. Curly, being a Curly Neal was my neighbor down in Orlando. Oh wow. Talk about a guy who's happy all the time. Man, he's always smiling. He's actually one of the first people who told me I could be a Harlem Globetrotter. When I first met him, he said I was going to have a future in this organization. That's How curly, do you guys man. come he's... up with all the, the tricks that you guys do? Um, magic. No, I mean, but, you think no, about really, it. It's incredible. We're around veterans all the time. People like Curly Neal and Legends are coming and they're telling us about the, the nostalgic old days. And, um, you know, we just try to feed off of them and create new things at the same time. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. And, and, and since he can't play volleyball right now with the Olympic team, <laughs> <laughs> he may get a starring role in Beauty and the Beast because Bella's here, and it's not what you know, it's who you know. So, Zeus the Thespian. See the Harlem Globetrotters <laughs> Tuesday at 7 o'clock at the <laughs> Veterans Memorial Arena. Tickets anywhere from $18 to $123. The $123 seat gets you right up there on the court, and Zeus will slam dunk you. Buy them on Ticketmaster.com. Made it easy, you'll find it on our news sites, newsforjacks.com. Look on the morning show page.